Alrighty everyone, what is up? Tana Kikari back again today with another video, and a bit of a short one at that. With Battlefront 2 recently stirring up a lot of hype in me since its beta release, I've been dying to sink my teeth into any information I could get on the game. Now, while some multiplayer gameplay was released, and I contemplated making some videos, breaking the footage down, I didn't really think it was all too important. We've had a feel for the gameplay in multiplayer, and personally, I don't really think you can feel how these heroes play just by watching the footage. That requires hands-on playtime, where you can feel how they move and attack, and really get into the character. However, just earlier today, EA released a new trailer for the game's campaign mode. I've been personally waiting for more information on the campaign, given that the game's predecessor left out a campaign entirely, and this trailer really helps us get a bigger peek under the hood at what EA has in store for us. So, let's hop right in and see what we can pick out from the trailer and have a little discussion. So, right off the bat we see Aiden Versio being broken out of a rebel holding cell, I'm assuming, and she's wearing this really neat armor. One thing I am wondering about is if this droid we see here, breaking her out, will be a part of the game, perhaps serving as support throughout the campaign or something similar to that. Anyways, she waves at the rebels before being launched out in a pod, and then we're greeted with the EA and DICE logo. Next, we hear Emperor Palpatine talking to Aiden as we're shown a really nice shot of the Death Star being built. Vasio. The rebellion cannot be allowed to persist. Now, automatically, I'm assuming she's a pretty high ranking official in the Empire if the Emperor himself is speaking to her directly. That lets me know that she's a woman with a very large skill set who is also extremely dangerous in the line of work she does. Now, right after that, we hear him say, Ignite the Inferno, before the Death Star is obliterated in a perfect viewing from where Aiden and her team are. Ignite the Inferno. You wish to see me, sir? We then hear that the Emperor is dead, which leaves Aiden, as well as the entire Empire, I'm assuming, clueless on what to do next. Her commander calls for retaliation against the rebels, and we get a very nice display of some groundwork and aerial combat as well, which is amazingly detailed and intricately designed. We even get to see Taco Dana, letting us know where we can sort of place this story on the timeline. Also, before I forget to mention, the hyperspace animation looks absolutely fantastic. Following this already impressive display thus far, we see the Empire leading charges against a few planets where rebels are located, and we even see a few shots with familiar faces. The one standing out to me the most is the one being where Aiden is pointing her blaster towards Luke Skywalker. I wonder what's happening there. Finally, we see some conflict between Aiden and her commanding officer, as well as a few last shots of some starfighter battles and even a glimpse of Kylo Ren's arm shooting forward. The trailer then ends with Aiden turning her back and closes with the game logo. So overall, the trailer gives us some bits and pieces of the campaign storyline to go off of, though they also try their very best to avoid spoiling any major details about what's to come. I am aware that there's a book which serves as a prequel to this game's storyline, though what it actually entails, I have no clue. I'll have to check that out at a later time, so I can be informed a little more on the characters and their backstories. With that being said, that's the end of the trailer, and I'll be sure to link it at the end of the video or in the description below. So, what do I think of the trailer after all? I think EA presented the trailer in a very fashionable way, keeping it classically styled and giving us sneak peeks at some of the characters that'll come into play. I really liked the cuts, which seemed to be paced just right, and the music accompanied what you were seeing quite nicely. I'm really digging the level of awesomeness we see displayed in Aiden Versio so far, just from taking tall leaps and daring to hold a blaster to a Jedi as powerful as Luke, and it definitely has piqued my curiosity in learning more about her as I progress through the story, and seeing how much more awesome she can get. Overall, I'd give the trailer a solid B+, for not spoiling anything, showing just enough to gain interest, for using music and sound effects to their advantage, 
and for presenting it all in a way that all Star Wars fans are sure to love, making it feel like a mini-movie for you to watch. As for my speculation on the story, anything's game right now. From the looks of it, it seems like we might be playing through a story that takes place just before the ending of Episode 6, and possibly might carry over into the story of Episode 7, though it may be behind the scenes. It clearly looks as though all the characters are woven into this in some form or fashion, from Palpatine to Luke, and from Leia to Maz Kanata. Add that on to the fact that EA has officially confirmed that we'll be able to play as some of these characters in the story, such as Luke Skywalker, and it really looks like this tale they're telling will be one of epic proportions. I'm excited to see where they take the Inferno Squad, how they treat the characters from the films, and just exactly what the end goal is for Aiden Versio, what her character arc will be, and what sorts of character development she'll undergo. I'm hoping it's a story reminiscent of the original trilogy storylines, but with a blend of the newer, faster paced action sequences of the prequel and new trilogies. One question I did have as I watched the trailer was how Kylo Ren was involved. It was definitely him, no doubt, but with there being such a huge gap of time between when Palpatine died and when Kylo Ren was already the age he was in the movie, it makes it a little confusing. Surely Aiden Versio isn't fighting for that long of a time. She'd be pretty old by then. Perhaps they'll play into The Force Awakens and allow you to play a bit of the story of that film, as well as the future films? Only time will tell, but rest assured, it tickled my itch for some new trilogy content, just a bit. As for the gameplay, we didn't really see too much in-game footage, unless I entirely missed it somehow, but instead saw a compilation of a lot of in-game cinematics. Ihei has been saying that they want the campaign to have a progression system similar to the multiplayer, so players can experience unlocking rewards regardless of what game mode they're playing. So that lets me know that there will be a reason for replaying the campaign to grind out some unlockables and really get your time's worth of the story. I'm looking forward to which class types each of the characters will be, too. From the looks of it, and this is just my opinion, it seems like Aiden might be an assault class, though I've heard rumors that you'll be able to pick weapons from any class in the campaign, allowing for some really fun and interesting playstyles to be used. I'm personally hoping we can mix and match ability cards, perhaps take some from the heavy class and intertwine them with some from the specialist class. Given that it doesn't need to be as balanced as multiplayer, I think it would make the gameplay all the more interesting, adding layer upon layer of combinations we players can choose from, which would make it so that everyone always has a different experience from the story than the other guy. Another rumor that's gameplay related is that there will be a few instances where you get to make a choice, which may or may not impact the storyline's outcome by the end. I think this is a great idea and a good way to add depth to everything and really let the player control the situation. I have always loved games that could pull off branching storylines like that. It's always been very impressive and I really hope EA takes this route. So, with all that being said, that concludes my campaign trailer breakdown and analysis for Star Wars Battlefront 2. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I thank you for watching. If you'd like to help support the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications every time I upload. Also, consider leaving a comment telling me how I can improve my channel and my video content. I've been focusing more on the quality of my content and I've been trying to put out videos that everyone can enjoy and possibly also find useful. This video itself was a pain in the butt to edit too. Anyways, thank you all so much once again. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I've been Tonic Ikari and may the force be with you. Peace.
Cinema Beats Production.